Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I got this card from Pinterest and it's by um, heartsdelightcards.com If you check that out you'll see it on Pinterest. She actually had the word thanks ever so much there. I haven't got that stamp set so I put birthday wishes. Um, these are the ornate layering dies that I've used and an old Stampin' Up! embossing folder. So, and I've got everything ready. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and burnished. I have a white, a little bit in the middle now, a white uh, card by five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, which I've already embossed, and I've got one for the inside, same size. All right, the dies I've used are these three dies, four dies. So I use this one, which has cut out that, which will lay there. I've also cut out this one. Now this one, I thought I might be able to cut out on my um, on my mini plates, but it's just that bit too long, so I had to cut it out on my big shot which I've done in that's here that's there and then I cut out one of these and inside it in fact I won't show you I shall do this again I've got cardstock here so I'll do the bit this bit again I do have a piece of black ribbus on here I used is it Misty Moonlight? One of the ink the blue ink colour. I think it was called Misty Moonlight. Not sure. And on this one I'm going to use black rebus. And I've got a piece of card that's three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters. And that will obviously go under there. For the sentiment I got that off a butterfly wishes, which I haven't got out. just says birthday birthday wishes so we'll stamp and cut that out to cut the sentiment out I used the sweet sweetly stitched dies and I use this little one here take that out Right, so I need a piece of card, right, let's move that. That's one side. So we're going to put that down there. And we're going to place that in the middle. So it's all nice and straight. Then we're going to tape it all down. Should have put it on the mat first. Never mind. And then we're going to cut it out. Right, 
gone back the way because of the middle bit. A bit intricate. Right, that goes there, that goes there. And we just have to poke all these out. Come out quite good. our middle bit and the blackberry bliss will glue underneath so let's get rid of our rubbish Leave them out because I need them for the sentiment. And talking of sentiment, yeah, that'll go on there. Let's stamp that. Didn't stamp it very straight, did I? Never mind. And there's our sentiment. Birthday wishes. Get rid of that. Put them away for now. Put this away. And put these four away. And now we just need to put this together. So, and the glue. Extra glue on this because it's embossed. And place that evenly on. The card base. Right, this goes flat. Now I do put a spot of glue on the corners, but I don't with the rest. And we just glue that. in place like that same as this one this is just getting glued down and 
and that just gets glued evenly in the middle like that right this what I'm going to do is just glue round the cutout so I don't want to put glue on the black ribris cardstock and I've gone inside the pattern And this is going up on dimensionals. And so is the sentiment. So. Oh, need to get another packet of dimensionals out. Take the backs off. Can't do nothing unless you take the backs off. And place that evenly. Just going to place right there. Like that. Now all we need is some gems. I'm going to place a little bit of glue in the middle of my flowers. Ooh. And place a gem on top. this middle bit in. So there we are. It's in blue and it's in blackberry bliss. And you can't really tell the difference. Blue black rubus. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos you I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.